Hello and welcome back to the top four of the Alpha Games Regional, or the King and Odyssey. It's me, Rebecca Gillard, joined as always by Richard Walker. Hello. Hello. And we have uh, Rowan Gavin on the left playing Targ Wars, and we've got Gabby back on the right playing her Lanny Crossing. So we've seen Lanny Crossing um, a couple of times now. We know that she runs um, Beneath the Bridge of Dreams, but she's not been able to pull it off yet. Um, but she's made this one. She's top four, so that's fantastic. Well done, Gabby. <coughs> Um, and Rowan on the left, uh, I think we saw him earlier, did we? Did we? Or didn't we? Yeah. We did. <laughs> we did. We did. Cool. We mentioned we his recreation of House of Pain. Ah, oh, yes. That was it. So we've got two interesting decks here. Hopefully we should get a good game. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll go through and see what well, happens. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Tune in to find out. Oh, you're already here. Carry on watching to find out. Yeah? Well done, bro. <laughs> Thanks. So, Rowan has set up five gold worth of cards in three cards. Mm. Flavoured Bay Port, Dothraki Sea, and a Shadows card. Which, which must be Egon, right? It could be Nefarious Acolyte. It's probably Egon. Mm. Egon makes sense. So I think they had um, both mulliganed for this. Um, Gabby there setting up a single character with a King's Road. Very risky, we can see. <laughs> Rowan just like, as soon as you flip the plot, he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a terrible man. So that's uh, Jamie gone. Um, but Got to be done, right? Yeah, had to be done. If he had the march, he was going to play it. Um, and Gabby knew the risks when she played it out. But like I say, I think we're both mulliganed at this point. Um, obviously, neither mulliganed into something they particularly wanted. But... Yeah, I wonder if she put Jamie out instead of Cersei... Tywin, someone like that. Maybe. Whether that was uh, someone that she didn't much. mind losing. Yeah. Or whether he literally the best choice. <laughs> so she's put out um, a reducer location there with the King's Road. So she's got a few gold to play with. She's using the King's Road to play up Pycelle. So quite nice to get that insight, get a bit of extra draw. And using the reducer... And paying for the Hound, okay. Ooh. And I think she's got three gold left. <clears throat> Let's no, see, she has right. six plus a reducer and a King's Road. So she should have four. Mm. That's enough for another Hound. It is indeed. So we're in there playing out of Rose Road. Yeah, so you got a gold from the ports. Mm. And now played out Rose Road. So his economy is already quite nicely set up, I think. Yeah, it's okay. We spoke before about Rowan Deck not liking to have a, a board, preferring to play with jumping tech. Oh, yeah. Jumpers and shadows with a backboard to sustain it. So if Gabby's got PD, that would be a good one against his deck, then, right? Yeah. But I don't think she's it. gonna run that, yeah. Not out of crossing. Nah. Maybe if it was wars, but not out of crossing. So she's only got two characters on the board, and obviously for crossing you need three. Um however, as we say, she is saving four gold, so she could uh play the hound again. Or I know she's got quite a lot of tricks and things, she might want to put some tricks out. Um, you know, what is it? I never bet or hear me roar, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, they can put characters on the board. So Rowan spent two gold on the tourney grounds and the flea bottom, saving three gold. <laughs> Seems good. So he's definitely got some tricks. He's not marshaled any characters. I mean, he could end up with a board of four characters in a minute. <laughs> you know, Egon into Dario or Kalasar, mm. Kotho with Missande coming in. Yeah, it's easily done, isn't it? He could use the tourney Ooh. ground to play for Blood of My Blood. So the intrigue there goes through unopposed, claiming Drogon. Drogon? Drogo? Yeah. Drogo. <laughs> Not quite a dragon. You know what? I started saying Drogo, thought I was wrong, said Drogon, and then realised after I said Drogon that I was wrong by saying Drogon and that it was actually Drogo. <laughs> That's a really cool story. Full circle. So mean to me. Sorry. What's this? Hear me roar. Hear me roar. Janos. Oh, Intimidate is not needed right now. Well... It may be, if Rowan wants to defend. Mm. So the military is just going to go through an <coughs> post. Nothing to claim, nothing to intimidate. 
And I'm guessing for a crossing, she's going to be going for the power. So I guess she's got three gold left now. Hear me roars one gold. <laughs> she joked, can I kneel the Dothraki sea? Because <laughs> you don't have a character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he will have a character when it comes to his turn. Mm. Yeah, she's just going to go for it. So she's going to get that unopposed and crossing most likely. We'll get that hound back to hand. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, um, if you watched our last video, you noticed that um, the players showed their hands to the screen so I could uh, freeze it and we could have a quick look at what was in there. Unfortunately, another player really showed me their hand for their setup, so I didn't really uh, have oh, a chance God. to do that. Inconsiderate players. Oh, oh, awful. It's the worst. Oh, here we go. So everyone comes out of shadows and Gabby's like, you're not reacting. And treachery to the reaction. That's good. Mm. Good play. Good for Gabby. Oh, flipping neck. So we've got a power coming in from Egon. Um, which one's this one? Never bet. This one's never bet. Okay. I never bet against my family. Oh, so the other one was hear me roar. It was. Oh. Flipping heck. Well, <laughs> she got four uniques to choose from. Uh, Rowan's gone in for power challenge. Well, she wants to block uh, it, right? Osmond Cat Black can't block it. Jamie can't block it. Pod can't win it. So only Cersei can win that challenge. It's a little bit of a shame to lose her from the bottom of the deck because she will go into the discard, right? She will. But it does stop Rowan from um, getting that unopposed, getting the power claim, and taking off with the Gabby. So I think that's um, fair enough. So end of the phase. Those two going into the discard. Yeah, Gabby's 5 nil up, but the boards are the same, and Rowan have a really strong location base. Mm. So, Rowan's clearly playing a long game. <laughs> <coughs> and discard Missande to reserve, which is uh, nice. Yeah, can't complain about that, right? Okay. So, yeah, as you say, I think um, Rowan's definitely got the stronger board here. But as you say, Gabby does have that lead. And we'll see if she can... Um, well, I mean, we saw in the previous games that she was in, she really rushed it out. Let's see if she can rush through to the to the final. Yeah. She runs heads on spikes, right? Yeah, so Gabby's uh, plot series is normally an opening plot, probably time, then heads, heads. That's what she's done in the other games. That doesn't give, give her a lot of economy to play. It doesn't, no. But I think the idea is to just rush out and not need to... Yeah, she needs characters on the board to do three challenges. And at the moment, she's got five resources. Mm. That won't even get you two hound. No, but it might get you a hound and a never bet. Which means you're losing all the challenges coming back. Mm. Risky play. Let's see what she can do with those resources. So, heads on spikes... Spike! Hits! Dario, nice. Wow. So Rowan there is the first player and chose to um, trigger his coppers first. I'd be interested to know if he drew the Dario before or after the coppers. Yeah, well, that is interesting. Mm. And then both of them drawing their two. So Rowan could cause a lot of damage to Gabby's board here. You know, just a few militaries I think is going to, you know, really... Reduce her board. I mean, that's quite intimidating, intimidating to look against. I mean, he got seven cards out. <laughs> and Gabby's board looks really sparse. Mm. So, yeah. I guess that's the risk when you're playing Rush with the heads and spikes and things. If you can't get your board set up early on, then you're going to struggle. Yeah. I think a lot of people play Pentoshi head head. Because yeah, they don't care that much this? about your opponent's board. Mm. And it allows you to get some more units out. Does Gabby run Pentoshi in this deck too now? I have no idea. Okay. I couldn't. I didn't know if you remembered from the last game. Um, I do not recall. Mm. I'm not one that recalls this kind of thing. <laughs> okay. It's got Plaza of Pride there on um, Rowan's side. More locations. Hmm. And Gabby, just four golden reducer there to get some uh, characters out. Let's see what she can put on the board. 
I'm guessing Rowan's hoping that he drew drawn his coat though. That's why one of those guys are dying. <laughs> Should be alright. He's got well, he just drew, he, he had counting coppers, right? So yeah. he's, he must have Kotho or some other big, I mean, even, he's got plasma and flea bottom, actually. That'll do it. How much gold did he say? One? Yeah. One, two. It's a bit shadowy, this. Yeah, yeah I, I think, know. That's why we moved for the final. <laughs> I think he got one. Um, he should have two, shouldn't he? I think he's got two there. Yeah, it's hard to see. Hmm. So yeah, two. He got a twenty grand as well, so he could have blood of my blood with that twenty grand there and the two gold. I think what he's more likely to do is probably um, use the plaza to stun someone and put him into the flea bottom pile and the flea bottom in. Who's worth standing? They're gone. Pretty <laughs> underwhelming. I know, but it's more just so you get the character in the flea bottom pile so they can put him in. I think you know, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Depends. If he got blood of my blood, I think I'd rather play that. Okay. I guess if he can win a power challenge, he can especially trigger it, it off like a C, right? Especially if it's Kotho. If you haven't got Kotho in hand yet, then you definitely want the blood of my blood to get Kotho into his hand. Hmm. So on to the challenge phase. Rowan seems to be struggling to think what to do here. The Hound is back with a dupe. Interesting to see Gabby didn't use her reducer. So she used the King's Road to pay for the Hound, saving two gold. But like I say, I don't know if maybe I'd have used the reducer. Two gold? Um, Why yeah, not three? She... Oh, the... maybe it is three. Yeah, head to the four gold plot. Oh, it's just that she's got little gold. Little gold. Little gold. <laughs> a burndy man comes in. Oh, okay. So the intrigue, probably worried about le losing the burned men, so she decided to play it out. Ooh. Treachery. Treachery. That's a shame. So maybe she was saving the gold for the treachery as well. And she thinks it worth to run doing another challenge. Probably, well, right? Cabby's not going to defend it, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, it might be worth just doing that power challenge. So that he can try and either force Gabby to nail someone out, stop her doing a crossing. Or at least he'll get too powerful from it, if it does go through. Mm, but then he can't defend. Here we go. Oh. We're going for an event. So kneeling the tourney ground. Blood of my blood. You're right. There's Koso, right on the <laughs> bottom there. <clears throat> so yeah, Koso is really important to the deck mm. because he just he's just so cheap and just an easy tempo boost. He's going in for military there with the Koso. And is it worth? Apparently, defend with the burn men. Interesting that she did that. I think I'd been tempted to leave him standing. Unopposed and let the dupe of the hound take the hit. Yeah. Then it's coming back to hand anyway. Yeah. And uh, the dupe will go. Oh, shit. Plaza, a dragon to stand Kotho. <laughs> no way. Uh, flea bottom, to put the dragon back into play. <laughs> Iron bank, so he can get some gold. <laughs> oh, he had three gold on his plot, not two. Check out his superb men. <laughs> Flipping neck. <laughs> that was all a bit, uh, bit dramatic, Rowan. <laughs> Did you follow that then? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realise <laughs> he had three gold on his plot. I thought he he only had, well, less. I guess he collected four at the beginning of the phase, right? That was quite funny. I quite enjoyed that little. A little bit of shenanigans there. Shenanigans. <laughs> and then Rowan passing challenges. So he's managed to clear the dupe and um, the burn men off the board. So Gabby's going to really struggle to get through our challenges now. Got an intrigue from uh, Pycelle. And that's just defended. 
my egg on. And I'm guessing the power for six. No one there to defend. She. Whoa! What's going on this round? So she might not be able to get a crossing, but she gets a superior claim off. That's four power. So unopposed claim and the two from the superior claim. Well, that was fun. Sure. <laughs> if you like, Lanny. I think it's quite a, a fun round. I was slightly distracted because our neighbour's mowing his lawn in like just white boxes. <laughs> He's topless. <laughs> yeah, and he's a fireman. <laughs> so Rebecca's ogling if him. That helps. I'm slightly. <laughs> and I'm trying to look away when he, when he peers in our window. <laughs> Roll of thunder. It's fine. It's just fine to ogle the the next door neighbour fireman in his white boxes mowing the lawn in front of me, right? <laughs> Not really, no. I don't, I don't think he'd be happy about that. Oh, okay. Should I avert my eyes back to the video? Oh, no, sure. You go, Ogle. I will commentate <laughs> on the going down of what is not actually happening yet. Well, I was trying to see, like, is he actually just wearing white boxes while he's outside I'll mowing? Tell you, I'll tell you what he is doing. He's actually mowing our bit of the lawn as well. Oh, perfect. Nice one, mate. Legend. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't start walking into our uh, garden. What? In his white boxes, just going to mow our garden. Oh, well, I've already mowed our garden. I just did do that little bit. Good girl. <laughs> so Rowan's taking his time in to think of his next plot, which is understandable. Gabby is very far ahead. However, she does have a significantly weaker board. So I think it's going to be a bit of a, a struggle for her. Yeah, 11-1. She got to play high goal, but she got no cards, really. She has, what, two cards left? Mm. Three because the hound came back. Oh yeah, so one of them's a hound, and she'll draw two. But then she played five. another one for superior claim, so I think she's only got two. Yeah, it does look like two, two or three. <laughs> That's not ideal when no. you, if you want to play a high gold plot to get stuff out when you know that one of those cards is the hound. Mm. But at least on a high gold plot, you can afford to hound him back in, providing you win. <laughs> True. So we're just getting a bit of a look at um, Rowan's plots there. It's got a second march in there and what looked like a Valar as well, so it seems quite aggressive. Yeah, marching Egon seems good. Um, but no, we're going to go for a fortified position. Yeah, marching Egon's always good because then you can play another copy and trigger him. Mm. For that tempo jump again. Gabby going for that second heads on spikes. Let's see if she manages to hit. Mm -mm. Spike! She does! What's that? Dothraki Honor Guard, which are really good with fortified position because they're cost 5 and they're 10 strength. Ah, do you reckon he was going to play those out this turn? You, yeah, I think maybe that was a real possibility. And if he can stand them with the Plaza of Pride, that would be even better. So Gabby here only needs 2 power. Yeah. That's not a lot. Yeah. But there's still 17 minutes left. Imagine if she could get some characters. <laughs> I think she'd be very happy if she could get herself some characters. Here's the hound. So what's That's left? It. Two gold. Yeah. Oh no, she paid for the... So she'd have got four, right? Yeah. Pay one for the great horse, that's three. Yeah. Reduced by one, two... A1, yeah, there's so two gold left? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Bit of insight there for you, hun. Yeah, because you. you obviously hadn't followed it by yourself. Yeah, mathematics is not my strong suit, I'll be honest. <laughs> How's that accountancy work going? <laughs> Calculators are cool. Calculators are cool. <laughs> Ron now has Astapor duplicated with. Ooh. Four bestow. That's uh, that's gonna be strong. It's gonna be strong. So Gabby's only getting one challenge through. For a minute there, I thought Rowan should just show his hands like, yeah, <laughs> I can beat you even with you knowing everything in my hand. <laughs> that seemed really harsh. Like I won 
uh, 113 position down <laughs> doesn't seem favourable. No. But Rowan has a lot of location doing work now. Yeah, so Gabby's going with the Intrigue with Pycelle for one strength. She must be crossing. quite nervous, feeling like, oh my god, she's so close. Yeah. Wow, it's just like, well, it's regional, you know, she's got to top four. I'd be nervous. And Rowan, they're defending with Egon. So I guess she now goes for the power. So if this goes through, she's won, right? Oh, unless he's got a unless he's got a chub to defend with. Rowan got a trick. He must do right. He got oh, a he trick. can use. <clears throat> I guess he can use the plaza. To well, stand he egg on and put Masande out, and then Masande can defend the power. We know that he got Kotho, which means oh, he yeah. can, you know, he can throw out characters into the discard pile, which he's got the money to flea bottom in, because Kotho's not blank while he's in the hand. So it has to pour on the hound. Nearing the tawny ground. Ooh! Consuming flames, discarding Masande. Is it just one card that you discard? Yeah. Oh, I it's you two pay two gold isn't? as well. Oh, Kotho's two. Yeah. Oh, so the hound's dead. I love how um, little Pycelle has been there since the very beginning. Little Pycelle. <laughs> From round one, he's just been sitting there doing his best against all the Targaryens. <laughs> For Lannister. For how Lannister. He was always yeah. loyal. I mean, like, against the Targaryens. Yeah. Yeah. For Lannister. For Lannister. For Lannister. Yeah. Even when they cut his beard off, he still did it for Lannister. Yeah. He always serves Lannister. Lannister. Why are we still saying Lannister? Bit of hand shaking here. What's going on? Look at the discard. Flipping it, that's the discard. That is a hell of a discard. So well, we might see some power shift back towards Rowan by the mm. end of this round. Is this a case of the, the Lanny crossing rustic gone gone a bit too far? Has it has it peaked too early? Possibly. I mean either way, she's still on thirteen and Rowan's on one, so it's gonna be a bit of a Well Rowan's going to win a power <clears throat> challenge. Yeah. So we've got the Egon going in for an intrigue. <laughs> wow. Wow. Taking superior claim there. Miss Sunday for the power. And that's unopposed. <clears throat> Flea bottom in uh, Regal and the military. Oh, he's finally gone. Bye. And that's he did. unopposed and we've killed Pycelle eventually. That's a big shift actually. From 13 1, it's now 12. Five. Well, three unopposed <coughs> and power claim can shift Rowan up to five. Yeah. Gabby loses the one power. She gains it back for Dom. She's still in a good position in terms of power total. Mm. The board isn't really in her favour. She needs to draw some cards. Yeah, it's difficult because she, she needs to draw cards and she needs to play a big money plot to put them out. And obviously coppers, which is the normal draw card doesn't get you a lot of gold to then repopulate the board. So ideally, she needs two turns now to get ready to repopulate. You know, there you go. So they're both playing the coppers. If she gets a King's Road, that's good. Yeah, King's Road would help, especially with the Great Hall out as well. But I think it would still be a struggle. She's only going to get two gold. <clears throat> so the coppers there on both of them. And then we're going to get draw of two as well. And Rowan there kneeling the South Bay port to gain gold. And playing out the Rose Road. How is that port not turned on yet? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I feel like the board's been wiped. We're on turn four. Well, she's not really had many characters, has she? I mean, no. think about it. All we've seen is the Burned Men, the Hound, and... Um, Pycelle, Janos, Cersei. Well, those were, like, in-and-out ones, weren't they? In-and-out one. Yeah, yeah they're, they're the characters we've seen. I thought that was a criteria. Oh, bog off. I will bog off. Marshall. Does that make it sound right? Is that better? US Marshall. Oh, shit. 
Like Raylan Givens. <laughs> Marshall. He's such an idiot. If anyone gets what he's on about, let's discuss in the comments. <laughs> um, Gabby's got the ability to do two uh, intrigue challenges. With zero characters. Yeah. But Rowing. maybe she has them in hand. She just has to sit this turn out and see if she can... It's basically what we said, right? Yeah. She needs two turns to get ready. She got an, another economy down, which she must be pretty happy about. Mm. She's got the ability to rush through with some challenges. <coughs> Ouch. Ah. Wow. His renown and power strength would have helped. Mm. This is a big swing for Rowan. Well, it's not a swing. He's just coming back. Yeah. Well, about five minutes ago, it was 13-1 down, and now it's 12-10. Yeah, <laughs> but a swing kind of implies it goes both ways. Gabby hasn't really gone down much. She just sort of sat at that point uh, where she can just about <laughs> win. But not quite. No, if only she could run the third heads on bikes for round four. <laughs> or, you know, if only Bridge of Dream was in, uh, in Shadows. Which isn't, just to clarify. It, yeah, it isn't, just to clarify. <laughs> Um, oh, she tried. So she's gone for Winter Festival there, hoping to get that two power at the end. But um, it's Damn. not going to work because of close call. Damn. Hmm. So Gabby's going to go first here. So she's got a reasonable amount of economy. She's got five gold plus the reducer and two great halls. So she can get up to ten golds worth of stuff out. Which seems <coughs> good, right? Yeah, if she can find Big Cersei, that two and three challenges and a power, you can get your crossing going. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, the church, we needed that. So you have five gold there, two great halls. I mean, theoretically, she can get out a couple of characters, maybe. Depends what they are. Hmm. So in two great halls. Okay, she's going for the chud as well. So either a juice of three or four, five, depending on what she's playing. Ah, there we go. Big Cersei out. And wow. two more. For a card into shadow. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Okay, so that's got to be Bridge Dreams, right? Yeah, or Sir Bobby Strong. Ooh. Is that we board. have to kill a character? Yeah, kneeling character, when it comes out of shadow. Okay. So, um... Probably yeah. not that, though, right? She deliberately saved a gold, mm -hmm. and quite pointedly knelt her Lannisport merchant. So, I mean, with the board so small, you probably want to keep your Lannisport merchant standing. Yeah. But she clearly needs a gold, so she got to have a treachery, right? Ah, yeah, she could do on a hand's judgment. Possibly. But I think, yeah, it feels like she's done that deliberately. Mm. Run close cord, and now got got out Ago, so he's going to be doing double duty. Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay, so. Would you go in with Cersei? Do you think she should try it? Well, in theory you could do two non-kneeling intrigues, however, burn is a thing. Mm. I mean, Astapon consuming flame just makes it game over. Do you just play it safe? Do you not? What do you, what do you decide here? So, what have we seen go? We've seen Dracarys and consuming flames go. One of each? Yep. So we know there's still some in the deck. And he's had a few cards drawn. It's a bit risky just because of Astapor. Yeah, it's a, <clears throat> it's a very big risk. Do you crash and burn now, or do you try and defend with your one character? You can only defend one challenge at three coming at you. I mean, if she can hold out, try and win Dom with Cersei standing... And she can't really afford to let three challenges... Oh, okay, she's not doing challenges. 
So she decided not to take the risk. Okay. Again? Is that the third one? <laughs> yeah, so... I'm thinking... Oh, Vakaro. <laughs> Rowan going to claim an extra power on Vakaro. See if he can close it out this round. I think he can, can he? Can he? Unopposed, 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 power claim. I mean... Vakaro. I guess he could. I wonder why maybe he didn't um, get Vakaro before the challenge and go in with Aga and Vakaro. So he could then intimidate Cersei. Mmm... So that, That's and he can idea. still do the intrigue and power challenge and still get that power on Makara. But crucially, he'd get an unopposed. Yeah, I think you're right. I think maybe he should have gone in with them both. Yeah, Ago Makara, Intimidate Cersei, and then you've got an intrigue, unopposed, power unopposed, and power claim. Mm. Then you win the game, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you've also got the power, yeah. And he does have Plaza as well, so he can always three stand one of them if needed. And um, Ago, actually. So, so Gabby deciding that he, she can't let that go through unopposed. So it looks like Rowan didn't. Well, he can't afford consuming flame, can he? Um, no, not now. I don't think. Tyrion chain. That's what she's saving the gold for. What's that? Well, it doesn't matter in this instance, but Tyrion Chain, when you win a challenge with a unique Lannister, trigger a war plot again. So if Bridge of uh... Dream went off next turn, but there's no war plot this round. Oh, right, so she wouldn't have needed it this round. No. So the other card, I wonder what it is. <laughs> so, Ricaro. Is she going to do Bridge of <laughs> Dream? She's going to interrupt. I think she is. <laughs> So Ricaro um, went off the board because he was brought in with the Blood of My Blood, but he won Dom, so the power remained the same at 14. Oh, here we go. So, underneath the Bridge of Dreams, shuffle your plot deck. Your opponent will randomly choose one. <laughs> I wish Gabby was on 13 here, so it could be a bit more like, you know. That would be crazy. Okay. And she gets an extra two gold on top of it. Oh, does she? That's quite handy. Come Are on. we ready? Yeah, yeah. What is Are it? we steady? What is it? Yes! Heads on spikes! <laughs> that no, is funny. Rowan, you... Ow! Oh, she can only get three power here. She can't, because um, Cersei's... Well, Rowan's going first and triggering um, his plot first. Yeah. So she can't quite get it. That would have been an epic ending, though. I'd have enjoyed that. It's still pretty cool. Hey! <laughs> <Spiked>. <laughs> Well done, Gabby. Oh, man. <laughs> so she actually gets six gold, plus those uh, all that economy, which she's got no, but she can stand them. Mm. But I think with Rowan going first here, I think Gabby's going to struggle. If she could have gone first, maybe she'd have been all right. Yeah, even Tywin can't save her, I don't think. No, because if Rowan wants to, like, wants to, we can do all three challenges, ask to pull one of them and he wins on the unopposed. That was hilarious, grabbing that heads on spikes for the third time. <laughs> yeah, and hitting as well. <laughs> Can't believe we finally got it on camera. I know. After but all those games you had Gabby on earlier, and she was just sort of teasing it, but never actually <laughs> did it. Yeah, that, that that must feel epic if you're on 13 power, and you do that to get your third heads on spike win yeah, the game. Yeah, that would be well cool. Your opponent will probably feel cheated. I love that Gabby made this deck as like a bit of a jank silly deck so that she could do silly stuff and actually manage to get to the top four. <laughs> it's not really a jank silly deck. It, the good Lanny crossing deck. Oh, and wow. Probably made less efficient by putting beneath the bridge of dreaming. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but a lot more fun. So I think if, uh, if Gabby was going first hmm. here. Oh, dear. <laughs> Unexpected return of Cal Drogo. Oh. Well, well, I think that's probably it. <laughs> oh yeah. man! Oh, that was fun though. That was quite close actually. I like how it went from thirteen one right up close again, and then Gabby got that hit. So quite a fun ending to the game, I think. I enjoyed yeah. that one. It was good. Hmm. So we've got the final left to come. 
In the final, we have Rowan. And you. And me. And you. Yep. You've not been on any of the videos. How would you get in the final? Well, you know, I just didn't get videoed. <laughs> <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> I deliberately avoided you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, yeah, so the final is uh, Rowan against Richard. Um, so we'll try and get that out as soon as possible. And we'll have the Northampton Regional Games out, which we're recording tomorrow. Um, again, that will be coming out during the week. Cool. Thanks as always to our patrons. If you'd like to support us, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash the White Walkers. Excellent. But yeah, otherwise we'll see you for the final. Yes. And you, Richard. Yes. Me. <laughs> Me. Look forward to... Actually, I'll put them off. Don't tell them that. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.